If you're a fan of organic food, you may have followed stories in the news over the last several years about the whole notion of whether or not food should have to be labeled as being genetically modified. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, it might mean that your tomato actually has a little bit of peanut DNA sliced into it. Well, what does that mean? Well, what I have behind me is a DNA molecule. DNA is your genetic blueprint. It's what makes you you. It's inside the cells of all living things, and it's how the cell knows to create new cells when it's time for growth or development. Your DNA strand normally is made of just the DNA that would find inside a person if you're a person, or just the DNA that you'd find inside of a squirrel if you were a squirrel. But scientists have developed something new, a technology that's called the ability to create recombinant DNA. Here's what that means. They take the DNA molecule of, let's say, a tomato. They might remove part of the DNA strand, and they might put in uh, the strand from a peanut. If you remember the movie Jurassic Park, and they talked about the fact that these dinosaurs were reproducing when they weren't supposed to be able to reproduce because they were all supposed to be female, well, they actually went back to the story and the fact that that blood that they took out of the uh, dragonfly, I think it was, they'd stuck some frog DNA in there so that they could fill in the holes in the DNA code. Well, some frogs have the ability to convert sexes. So that would be an example of this recombinant DNA. You have a little bit of frog stuck in with some dinosaur. Now, while that's never been done in real life, recombinant DNA does exist. In fact, recombinant DNA is what makes all the insulin that diabetics currently use. We stick a human insulin-making insulin gene into a bacteria and create little insulin factories. So it sounds pretty complicated, but it really just means that you've got a DNA molecule that's the cross of usually two different species. So I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What is Recombinant DNA?